a little bit of a strange request. Um, I need to have a wellness check done on someone, and I do have their address. Okay, what's going on? Well, um, this individual is a member of an online community on YouTube, and there are people claiming that this person has killed themselves. And what's the address? It's th Did they give a direction of east or west? What do you mean? For what? Um, um, the street. It goes east and west. No, I don't know that. I only know apartment 157. Okay. Okay, so the person is dead inside this apartment? Well, no, the claim is being made that the person was dead inside the apartment as of last night. And the reason that I'm filing this report is because this online, this these friends of this person or the girlfriend of this individual, they're trying to blame me. And I don't appreciate that. And I don't believe that this person is even dead. So there's something hinky going on here, and I think it needs to be investigated. So you think... Um, I think they're faking it. Uh, and they're they're trying to blame me. They're trying to incite... Anger against me by saying I caused this person suicide. It's ridiculous. And I'm actually calling from Michigan, by the way. So what is this online, uh, what kind of group is this? It's, it's actually a true crime group. Oh, you don't think they're, you think they're messing with you then? Yes, I do. However, if there's any truth to this, since I'm being the one who's being blamed, and they're trying to incite people to come after me, and I'm actually getting texts threatening me. If they're doing this, I think it needs to be investigated, and we need to determine if he's really dead or not. And what, what what's his name? His name is... Okay. Now, between you and me, I already called the apartment complex, and they couldn't, uh -huh. they couldn't give me much information other than to say, yes, he does live there. So I do have confirmation that he Were does. Were they going to check on his welfare? They didn't. No? They didn't say. They wouldn't tell me. But you, you told them this is. So when did they tell you he had he had killed himself inside the apartment? This would have been like two, three in the morning today. This morning. Yeah. Okay. Do you know anything about him other than his name? Um, I only know that he's a member of this online crime community, and his name is Truthy Magoo, and I know that he lives with his girlfriend, and her name is... So those are probably not real names. I think that's her real name, although I... I they go online by Mr. and Mrs. Truthy Magoo, and she's all over the internet today claiming that he killed himself, and it's my fault. Okay, so it's an online crime. What did you call it again? It's just it's an online crime community. It's they're all on YouTube. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it, but you know, they we've we've all been involved in covering a case about a little girl, and there's a lot of there's been a lot of drama. There's a lot, been a lot of infighting going on between all of us, and so as I said. Now, this morning, there's this claim that he's committed suicide and he killed himself and, and K is to blame. And I'm K. So now I have all these people coming for me, threatening me. So I just don't know what else to do. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Well, that's interesting. I've never had this before. Yeah, I kind of figured it would be the first for you guys. My last name is Yee. First name is K. K A Y. Mhm. Mm and the your phone number is at the eight one. Okay, and you're in Michigan. Mhm. Mm and his girlfriend is accusing you of doing it. Yep. So we don't. We have not had any calls there at that apartment. Okay. I would have thought she would have called us. Right. That it happened. Um, okay, I'll, I'll see what
when I can find out, maybe I'll call the manager and see if they can tell me what's going on. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I, I just want to make sure that... But if they're harassing you online, then that would be in Michigan also. Right. If this continues, obviously, right. right, if we can't get to the bottom of this and this continues, obviously, I'm going to have to involve my local police, which, of course, right. I don't want to do because this is all so bizarre. But I figured, you know what, <laughs> if this guy, if this woman is claiming that he, her boyfriend killed himself, surely there's a record of whether he really did kill himself or not. This can all be put right. to rest very easily by proving or disproving their claims of suicide. And I'm sorry, what was, what was supposed to be her name? Her name is, um... Okay, I'll have an officer contact you, and then I'll see if I can find out what's going on, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. Regarding an alleged suicide. Okay, were you calling from the same phone number? Yes. Okay, it looks like the officers went on a call and they've already cleared it. There was nothing in the call for any kind of suspicion or anything like that. So they checked it out. Everything checks okay. Um, there's nothing further in the call. Um. Okay, but do I... I'm just curious if this person really did kill themselves. Is there a way for me to find this out? You can contact the coroner in the county and, and find out if they'll release the information to you. But we went out there and everything looked okay on our end as far as you know, checking anything. But you can't tell me, was he there? I, no, I can't, unfortunately. If you want to contact the coroner and see if maybe there's anybody, any information about, you know, if there was any names that were ran, um, that we've received, yeah. Like, go ahead. And yeah, we did call the Fresno coroner with the name, and they're denying having anybody there by that name. Okay, then, um, yeah, then that should be fine, yeah, because they, they would let you know if, you were, if you're calling in on it. They would be able to have it, you know, if you give enough information to them, they can let you know whether or not they have them or not. Oh, okay. Um, would it be helpful if I gave you the phone number of this individual or no? Or do you guys feel that it's just a non-issue at this point? Like, Yeah, it's a non-issue at this point. There was nothing to, he hasn't believed that there's anything of any kind of dire need or anything like that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye.